Hi guys, welcome back to the Road to 2000. I'm going to try play some Queen's Gambit today in these 10 minute games. Uh, so I've never been to 2000 before, the highest I've ever been is about 1600. So let's see how far we can get. I'm confident we can get to 1700 in this series. At 2000, I, I'm being hopeful. Like, I think we can definitely get 1700. Um, this isn't a move I've really seen much in the Queen's Gambit. Why is this bad? I've just done a course on, on this line and this wasn't one of the responses. I guess just this, because this pin isn't bad. It's known to be pretty good for white because these pawns are only ever temporarily doubled up. But even so, let's attack the bishop. So I know in these Queen's Gambit positions, the Queen often comes here to defend. Um, and I think he is also okay. Uh, so I mean, I, I should maybe just develop and stop worrying about this bishop here. So I know often this pin is good. So let's get that on the board. There are sometimes some tactics where if you put the pin here, the bishops on this square, bishop can sack, king here, and then knight here, attacking the king. And then of course the queen takes the bishop at the end of that, if you if you followed that. Hard to explain these pieces in the wrong place, but so I think this is okay. Uh do I even castle this side, guys? Get really dynamic. Uh, actually, you know what I can do? I can mess up his structure. I guess he can take here. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, that, yeah, that, that tactic wasn't sound. <laughs> In my head, he couldn't take with the queen because the queen was protecting the bishop. But as soon as I did it, I realized the bishop can just take with check. Uh, the queen isn't the ultimate threat, as I thought. Okay, so... Just... Create a nice solid structure here. This knight's not really doing much, so I'm just going to develop. When a knight comes out, I'm always looking at ways I can, you know, stop it progressing into the game. Yeah, my fourth video today, this guy's, with my new new mic, and also my new, I've got some new like recording software, which has allowed me to put some like compressors and stuff on the on the audio, making it sound better, because I was having problems before. Uh, yeah, so drop us a like if you appreciate the uh, the dedication. So it's where to put this bishop, really, isn't it? Uh, I think I like it here. You know, threatening. Maybe mates in the future have pulled back and put the queen there. I'd say I'm slightly better. Although he is castled and I'm not. Yeah, so that's sort of a deterrent to me castling uh, Queen Sags. I was starting to think about it. And this is just to say no. Castle King Sag. Tempted to play this. I don't want to give up this bishop. Seems really weird. Seems like a really weird move, but... I'm just going to play this. Get rid of that knight. Yeah.
Then I want to align my queen with the bishop. I know this looks weird blocking my rook in, but I think this is well worth it. We can take the pawn, but he gets mated. That's what I'm saying. Take the pawn and attack my queen. Go on. Okay. So. That's weakened his king, though. Uh, could maybe look at no. If take take, maybe argue that that pawn's going to be weak on d5. But uh, what about push? Take take. Here, here, here. I lose my rook. So maybe just bring bring this back. Now it's no longer attacked. He takes, I just take with the queen. I think that's okay. I've not played many games in the Queen's Gambit, but let's check in. There's no tactics. Ooh, there is tactics, guys. There's that uh, pinning my queen to my rook, or skewering my queen and rook. Yeah. So, maybe I go here. It's annoying. Maybe bring my rook out. But now this is vulnerable. This is uh, not vulnerable anymore, so... Maybe here. So there's one upon there. And he's... His uh, queen side looks a bit aggressive. I'll need to make sure I deal with these three pawns. If takes, doesn't he just get ugly pawns? So if I go here, hit the knight, that looks good. I don't see where his knight goes, really. There's, there's any good, anyway. Maybe he rotates it. But... So now he's going to look to jump in here or here. Now I can take this pawn. He can push this, attacking my rook. Then I just take that. Looks a bit scary with the rook here. Okay, so he attacks the rook. I mean, I was thinking of just taking that pawn, but also, can I just... Do this. I guess then he maybe goes something like that. And then I have to. Then he ruins my king side, but maybe I can live with that because I'm going to get another pawn out of it. Yeah, he does that. I was thinking I was going to get that pawn out of it, but of course this bishop's also hanging. So... He just messes up my structure here, guys. I guess I'm going to tuck my king round here. Uh, oh wow, and there's no way I can actually hold on to this... This bishop, okay. Okay, now I'm just losing. But I'm getting some compensation. Hmm. 
I don't really want to take that, you know. I mean, if I take that, he just takes me. So maybe I do something with this piece. Oh, no, I mean, oh, I didn't. <sighs> well, blundered that one, guys. I didn't see that the knight was protecting. Um, let's resign. Two blunders, let's analyze, all right. Oh. I need to get another account with a month's trial of premium. <laughs> So the Sicilian hasn't really been working for me. So why don't we go with a new setup? Is this a King's in uh, sort of King's Indian thing? If I don't know what I'm doing, then maybe they won't know what I'm doing either. <laughs> That's the logic. Uh... So here in this pawn, I knew he was going to do that. It's rubbish. Oh, I didn't see that. I almost want to go attack it. Like, so if I go here. If I attack him, what does he do? I guess he comes in with check. I shouldn't attack him, but if I go here, what does he do? I like the fact that the queen can't even come in. Because of the knight. I guess it can go to there. He's planning on coming in with the bishop, I see. If I just go here. Ooh, that's interesting. Um... Okay, that is a bit more scary, not gonna lie. Didn't see that. Um, the, three, the queen's just threatening to come in and just mate me. What if this? Doesn't look that good, guys. Guess the queen can come here now. So now can I just come up, come took away? Uh, if here, then here, I just come out. Fine. Okay, looks a little bit scary, guys, but I think I'm getting away. Also, I'm attacking this. One more move, and I'm safe. So now trades are good for me. I'm just up a piece. He's up a couple of pawns though. I take this, maybe. Maybe get this out, threaten a revealed attack on his queen. I think 
Oh, that, that would fall then, wouldn't it? Uh, maybe let's just try to trade this knight off. Okay, so he damages my structure. But I'm not too worried. These pawns are, are, are terrible, like... Ah, but he does get that. Can I attack anything? That's not actually a threat because of this pin. I don't know if he realizes. But still, I should probably... Probably get out of any issues. Somehow attack the bishop. Yeah. So if he takes, I just take. And this is fine. He castles. I go here, he goes here. I go here. It's a bit scary. For now. Hmm. Still a bit awkward to navigate this, guys. God, how do I actually... Here, 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 here. Still going to be pinned. Maybe I'll just move my queen. Seems like the simplest thing to do. So we've used a bit of time there, but I think now we're winning. I think. Okay, so now this is a threat. Uh, the knight doesn't really have anywhere good to go. Here, here. I always go back here. Yeah, I like that. Looks a bit loose, but I think we're always getting back to safety. So I would like to tuck my king away at some point and then maybe line this rook up and Start trying to attack. If I get my king in the corner, I think I'd actually be quite safe. But this is always coming to try and disrupt my position. But if... If this, then this. I'm excited to get these moves in. Hitting the bishop. That would force the bishop back, as all these squares would be covered. My knight was here. So you'd have to go back to there or there. So if it takes... I guess if it takes, maybe queen takes. You know what, if he, if he takes me though, I just take and it's fine. I can just use this as a chance to get another piece out, I think. Uh, do this. My position's still a bit bit loose, but started to consolidate there. Could, I guess, attack my bishop. In which case, I'd probably have to go here. Excited to get this move in. But yeah, he's just going to attack my bishop. And my bishop doesn't really have anywhere great to go. He's adding more protection to this square. Uh... I 
Yeah, yeah, no, still not working. Hmm. Why don't I jump my knight in? I don't really know what to do. But now here, 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 here. He's no, he's, I still can't take. I can take with a pawn, maybe. I don't really want to open up this diagonal for the, the queen. Okay, so let's hit the bishop. It all feels a bit loose. We're playing reasonably quick. We're slightly behind on the clock. I don't really want to triple up my pawns. <laughs> Okay. So let's get my king to safety. I'm not sure what to do, so. I know I want to get off this diagonal, though. No, I've committed to that move. I need to play this quick. So he might try and break up in the diagonal. Playing on this alignment issue. Okay, so I don't know where he's planning on going with that piece. Let's just tuck the king away to safety. And now I'm much more confident just to take. So he's saying if I take, he hits my queen. Uh, let's just hit his queen, see where he puts it. Guess he can come here and maybe win a pawn. Oh, I can go. I was thinking if I go here, it can win this pawn, but I can go up. But then if this comes in. Yeah. So I can play my queen back here, get off this alignment issue. Maybe that's good. It looks a bit, a bit passive, guys. But I'll get this move in. Okay. I can just attack that. And then I get a free shot at his structure, attacking his queen. Guess he can jump in here with his queen after that. Hmm. So three pawns for the piece now, really even position. And also the pawns that I do have aren't great. Ah, uh, so he just... what? What? Just gives up the piece. But there? Then what? I guess he's gonna... something like that? Wait, what? I don't get it. I'm taking the piece. Okay, and now trades are definitely good for us now. So how can we trade off his queen? Hmm, I don't know. I'd like to get this move in just to stop this pawn pushing. It looks annoying. Maybe actually, maybe a, a rook would be a better piece to do it with. Did he come attack my rook? I don't think so. So I'm feeling a bit better about my king nowadays, but he's still pretty aggressive. 
Maybe I could try pushing this pawn, try and create some sort of structure in the center. Get that move in. Lock out his queen. This is the square where I'm going to hold that pawn. My knight rooks are all protecting that square. I think because I'm just up material, I should be able to hold the pawn. Although, if this comes... Mm. Kicking my knight out. It could be scary. He's tanking a little bit. I'd like to get my queen here so I can threaten checks and maybe, you know, pick up a piece or something. Pick up a piece with check. Okay. He's just going for a drink of water when he does that. Very aggressive. Uh... I don't see any obvious moves to... Other than this, skewering the uh, the queen and king. <laughs> uh, how do I do something practically here? So he's, he's hitting the rook, so I need to protect the rook. So either move it, or just I think just bring the queen looks good. Can't bring his queen in any further. This looks fine. All these squares are covered, guys. And now I can start, you know, trying to trade this queen off. You'd have that if I did that, though. Uh, he moves his knight and then moves his pawn. Then I've got this. <laughs> you never know. Just something to bear in mind. In fact, no, I've got this with the queen, haven't I? Forcing the queen trade. It wouldn't leave me with an awful pawn structure, but I'm ahead on the clock, ahead in material. I think I could hold it. Okay, so he doesn't let me do that. Uh, it's hard for me to actually find a move here. I mean, this just consolidates my structure a little bit. Uh, Okay, so I guess I'll just do that. This rook seems a bit awkward here. Uh... Oh god, what do I do? Is it the queen? If this, then I've got enough protection, haven't I? All this protecting. And after I hit the queen, I can probably bring this bishop out a bit more proactively. Because I should be the one attacking him. Up oh, material. Aha, there we go. Exactly the move I just suggested. And I should be getting a rook out of this. So now I just should be up so much material that this pawn shouldn't offer enough compensation. I should be able to defend this fine. And I can always just bring my king for extra support later on. That looks a bit scary right about now. That was a good game though. I enjoyed that. Yeah, so he's saying that if I take, he takes my queen, but I'm absolutely fine with that. Uh, okay, so let's go after these pawns. Uh, it's hitting this pawn here, so if I just do that. Actually, you know what, let's take his biggest threat out of the position. And also, he can't even take that because I've got this. OK, 
Okay, let's pin this. Now we can't move anywhere. Okay. I enjoyed that game. I'll give this guy a rematch if he wants one. I feel like I played pretty solid, but we'll see. No. Okay. Yeah, no, the, the sack at the beginning was interesting. I, I thought it was bad at the time, but actually you got... You did get a lot of play out of it. But I don't like that opening I just played. I do prefer the Sicilian. The only thing about my Sicilian is I sort of play the same setup every single time. And yeah, I need to learn a few more moves, I think. I tend to go down in material and then manage to somehow swindle my opponent. Get back in the game. And... This isn't the most aggressive setup, though. He's going for. I'm totally fine defending this position. Uh, is it a castle now, or do I throw this move in? Okay, about that. Uh... Got this check. He just develops. Maybe I throw it in. Because actually, if he develops, I, I've got this attacking the pinned piece. If he goes back there, that seems like somewhat of a concession. Yeah, so he played that instantly. I was hoping he'd play knight and then pawn push. If pawn push now, pawn can't move. Takes, takes. Eh, nah. Maybe we pin his knight. You know what, let's just castle first. Okay. Now... Hmm. Let's do this, cause some problems. Okay, so you might be thinking of sacking here, you know. Uh, it does there, there, there. This piece would be loose and potential for checks. You know, you could check picking up this piece. I guess I'd have to play something like that. What if I do this? It looks absolutely outrageous, and that's also asking for a sack with the knight and the bishop. You gonna do it? What about that back here? Don't really know what that does. Hmm. Maybe we just develop a piece. Deal with that problem when we come to it. Yeah, a lot of people are scared to sack, so he's asking for a queen trade here. If he takes me, I get my knight on the edge of the board, but not the end of the world. Look, I just win a pawn. He wins it back at the end, but then I take that. I... Yeah, let's win this pawn, I think. Maybe now he's down material, he's gonna think. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he just goes casual, casual. We can tuck back here now. We can go here, and if trades, and I'm threatening this, killing the rook. I think I just prefer this though. In that. Mm. Maybe we hit the queen in the center. Also, this. It seems a bit loose. I think he'd just uh, give him a piece to attack, wouldn't he? He'd just attack the knight.
Mm. Okay, so bringing the other rook just looks very natural here. I'm still a bit scared about this, guys. I think he's thinking about it. My knight does protect my bishop, though, so... If he does it, maybe I can just take took my, uh, my king away. So I'm attacking the queen here. Attacking the bishop, attacking the queen. Why this and then this? No, no. I was thinking somehow trap his queen on this diagonal, but no, no, I'm being, I'm being silly. Uh, so let, yeah, let's just do this. I think it's fine. At the queen, yeah. He's got to play back here, and I think I like taking this bishop off the board. I'm, I'm too scared of it sacking. Because it, it takes a lot of time for me to every move think, right, is he going to sack? You know, what happens if this? And then check, you know. Can I keep attacking his queen? It'd be nice if I could. Yeah, I guess he just takes me. Let's take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite like that. Do it. Pre-move that. He's got double the time we have. But then I have been chatting a lot of chess goodness. So it's only understandable that we've got less time, guys. So we're also starting to double our rooks here. The old uh, battery. Hmm. So he's pretty passive here with his queen. My rooks look really nice. Do I go here, here? That looks strong. Yeah, let's do it. Or even just get the queen involved and bam. 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 No, no. <laughs> Ooh, actually, yes, because boom. Maybe he saw that. Maybe he was thinking the same as me. Ooh, but look what I'm seeing long term, guys. But first, we do have to move this bishop. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I've got many prospects long term. I think I like this and tucking it back. Just making sure he hasn't got any, any double attacks on my... This is a loose piece, guys. You should always be aware. Then you got a loose piece, scam for tactics. They're a magnet. Same with his knight, could be a magnet for tactics. I know it's protected, but it, it looks loose. <laughs> it feels loose, man. Man. But maybe once his queen moves, it's like, it could be a bit loose.
So I'm a bit scared of his time advantage. But this does look nice, you know. Could get my rooks somehow lined up. Quite like my bishop as well, just quite a bit of control. Okay, so he doesn't like my rook. I go here. That looks good. Check. Hmm. Takes, takes. Of here. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'm not seeing a win yet, though, guys. It looks like I've got a bit of pressure, but hmm. I mean, this this has got to be okay. Although he can come in here. We just play a slow move, a bit slow, but stop him coming in. It'd be nice. Sure, there's something better, guys, but yes, yeah, so let's do that. We keep the open file. Let's like get this moving in the future as well. This is Bishop is eyeing this pawn or X raying it anyway. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything yet, guys. Let's just trade off these pieces then. I mean, it puts his knight on an awkward square. I guess that's <laughs> not much compensation, I know. What about getting my bishop in here? I think just queen in looks better, though. Running this. Maybe start to break down these pawns. I'd like to trade. I'm gonna say no. You can take my pawn, I take it. Uh, so I do this. Going after this pawn. This bishop still doesn't have vision here. He needs to play this move. What about that? Let's guarantee that I win this pawn. And tackle the base of the pawn structure. And that's what they say, isn't it? Uh, so if I take, he gets an isolated pawn. I don't know why he's so desperate to trade. This isn't good for him. Maybe he's saying they might get some checks. Uh, so. Take. Run in this. Okay, fair enough. That's a plan. <laughs> right, so if here, 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 here. Is it here, 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 here? He queens. <laughs> okay, so actually this just got a bit tricky. Here, takes then. Got this. That takes, and I've got this again. If pushes, then I'm okay. I can just play that anyway. Yeah, this could get tense, guys. This could get really tense. Uh, okay. 
check. God. Oh no. <laughs> I did not see that. How did I not see that, guys? How did I? How the? What? <laughs> I had 40 seconds. I should have done a bit better than that, maybe. So we've actually lost points this this uh, climb. Let's try and let's try and get one back at the end here. Back to the ruler, Pez. This is where I'm familiar. Queen's Gambit. I'm um, I'm not too sure. Uh, so let's go actually Italian. Okay. Right, let's go mental. I don't think this is good, but I'm gonna do it. So obviously we're castling queenside. Uh. Where do we put the queen? Uh. Hmm. I think here, going after something like this, adding more support to this square. Okay, so we've got a nice development. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to try and hit like 1550, make some progress, because today I seem to have just lost points. But uh, it's about the learning, guys, at this point. This is a long-term thing, trying to hit 2,000, you know. So here, we're fine. We can do this. Or is it good? This is okay, isn't it? Maybe we just castle. I feel like this is better, though. Start attacking here, just so it makes him castle queenside also. So I don't want him sending these pawns down the board. I want to keep the uh, momentum. Yeah, here, here, here. I can go for this. If he locks in the structure, then that's really bad for his bishop and queen. Oh, I didn't see that my uh, rook would be hanging at the end, but I think I've still got enough support. So takes, takes, takes. Yeah, so now look at his bishop, it's awful. A break in the center. Here, 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 here. Looks pretty good for me, actually. Maybe I castle first, though. He's not going to castle here, is he? That would be disrespectful. So, I can damage his pawn structure, I don't know if you noticed. Uh, is it worth it? Is this better? There. I can still do that. Because of this, uh, this battery behind. So here, here. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Let's go for it. His king's still in the center, so what we, what should we do? We should go attack the center. If I do that, he's going to sort his pawns out, so I definitely don't want to do that. I jump in here, he could... He takes, I bring this pawn, which looks really good. Uh, Could take that, but I'm, there's no way I'm exchanging this five point knight for this one point bishop. It's effectively a pawn. Okay, so he's saying, You've got me, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna give away this pawn.
Let's grab it. Hmm. What is he threatening? That doesn't do much. I guess we just bring this back. I'd like to bring my knight back. Start threatening things. Could I throw? Could I just take that? Takes. No. no. I did this though. I could just take that. Takes. Uh, takes. 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 Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> But guys, what was that pawn defending? It's a totally understandable move because he wants to break out because his bishop's awful. That pawn was defending this square. And now I fuck. Queen and rook. Uh, could I throw in this move? Just apply even more pressure? What can he do? Go here, here. I mean, all he could do is go here or here, and neither of them looks scary at all. So... I guess we throw it in. Could he do this? That might be annoying. Maybe we just take it. We can always do this after. check as well I quite like the fact his king and queen are I play this could threaten to do this although I could just play that so otherwise he's winning a pawn there okay Let's play this pretty quick and see if he sees the threat of this. Unless he moves his knight, in which case this would not be good. Because bishop takes. We're thinking ahead, guys. This is good. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, of course, the queen defends. Thought that was a sack for a second. Uh... I don't want his queen going there though. I want his queen there so I can hmm so I can skewer it. What if I go like that? I really want to move my knight somewhere else that isn't there, but yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh, I thought I thought his queen was there for a second. Thought I was gonna have some sort of <laughs> right. It's getting late, guys. Uh, so how can we? I feel like we're winning, but we're only just winning. I feel like we should be crushing here. Like, what is the this, 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 and then here check. Yeah. Not sure. So I like to cut his king off from going down here. We could move his rook somehow, that'd be nice. Uh. Oh, you know what? Oh, no. I was thinking if we just take the knight with the rook. He can't take because of this, but he can take with the bishop, but maybe in the future if he moves this bishop. See, this is sort of a little trap. He gets greedy here and moves the bishop, takes the pawn or something like that. Obviously, he's going to move his queen, but after, if 
he if he moves the bishop, then I've got this. Mm. Although Archie no, because the bishop would protect that square. His pieces are annoyingly coordinated here, guys. Uh, that seems quite natural, but he just takes. Uh, I've not really got a move, guys. This is tough. I think maybe we go after this square here. Something like that, and start just attacking this square. So that would just be mate. And if we enforce his king this way, somehow it's just over. Hmm, okay. So this doesn't do anything. I guess I'm down the exchange, guys. And this is now an even game. Unless I do this. No, because he takes with check. Hmm. Oh, what am I doing? I can just check. But that's still pinned. Now let's see, maybe we can garner something from this. So we're now even. We were properly winning, but now we're even, which is annoying. Uh, so here, here. No, there's nothing there. We can attack his queen. He can just take this though because it's it's check. In which case I think I'll Okay. Oh fair enough. I didn't expect that. Uh Now he's double attacking the pinned piece, which is really, really bad now. It's not what we wanted, guys. Now we're defending this awfully pinned piece. Can he just bring like a something else to attack? I don't this feels like it's falling apart completely. That one skewer. It's just Ruined my position. Of course, this isn't a defense because that's pinned. So, the only move we've got is this. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. So, we've had an absolute miserable day today, but we have played a lot of chess today. I've done four videos. Maybe I should ease off, but I'm really enjoying creating this content, guys. So I hope you're enjoying watching me lose and uh, maybe learning something from uh, my opponent's incredible play. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. I'm really enjoying uh, using the new mic and, and sending you all. Goodbye.